Hey everyone, Dan from Mod1 here. I want to show you how to create a cinematic look using the new LUTs or lookup tables inside of On1 Photo Raw 2018. I'm just going to show you what we're going to do to start off first. So here is our after photo. This is what we're going to go out to create and we're going to start with this photo here. This is kind of the out of the camera shot where there's not a lot of sky left over and what we're going to end up doing is giving it more of that stretched letterbox appearance like you see in the movies, as well as bring back some of that sky and some of that detail and bring up some of the color using a lookup table. Before we really dig into those lookup tables, we're gonna do some basic adjustments here inside of develop. I'm just gonna close up my preset drawer so I have a bit more room to work. The first thing I wanna do is open up my levels and I'm going to adjust it to make sure I've got some nice detail in those clouds. If I just hold down the J key on my keyboard, I can watch for any clipping in that photo. So there, I'm just gonna pull this back till I make sure I've got good detail in the clouds. So I'm gonna go back just a little bit, bring my highlight slider down a little, and I'm also gonna use my haze slider. The haze slider will help cut through some of that haze, really bring up some of the detail and the color in those clouds. There we go. While I'm at it, let's use the shadow slider just to open up the shadows a little bit. And I'm gonna adjust my black point to make sure I've got some real blacks in there as well. So again, hold down that J key, adjust the black slider, and watch the histogram until you get just the right amount of pure black in your photo. I'm looking for just a little bit of those deep, dark shadows. That's looking better. There's a couple little distractions. I'm just gonna grab the perfect eraser tool, and I'm just gonna erase over these two little distracting trees. There's one right there, and one right here. All right, now it's time to create that cinematic look. I'm gonna jump over to effects. And now I'm gonna open up that preset drawer on the left, and I'm gonna click over here on the filters tab. You notice there's a category for lookup tables. Now we come with like 60 different cool lookup tables to get you started, but there are a ton more available on the On1 website. I'm gonna show you how to go get those and how to install them. So I'm just gonna jump out of Photo Raw and jump over to my web browser real fast. So I'm here at the On1 website. I'm gonna click over here on the hamburger menu on the right hand side, and then I'm gonna scroll down to the free section. And under free, you can see there's the trials, there's presets for Lightroom and for Camera Raw, and there's also lookup tables for use in On1 or Lightroom. I'm just gonna click on those free lookup tables. And you can see there's a bunch of different add-on packs that are free that you can install into your app. You can download them all or you can preview different ones. So for example, I'm interested in the cinematic color grading ones. I'll just click on the preview button. This will let me see different examples of what those different lookup tables can do to your photos. That's kind of the look that I'm going for right there. So to get that, I'm just gonna click on the download button. When I click on that, it's gonna send me an email with the download links for all those different lookup tables. So I've gone ahead, I've downloaded those LUTs from my email, and you see how they appear in a folder on my desktop or in my downloads folder. There's one for Lightroom and one for Photo Raw, and also another one where you can get to just the cube files if you're using these lookup tables and other applications. Of course, I'm using these in Photo Raw, so I'm gonna click in the for Photo Raw folder, and inside of that, you're gonna find a file with a dot on preset extension. That is a preset bundle. It includes all of the lookup tables and the presets that go along with them. All I do is double click on that. It'll ask me if I want to install that preset package. Just say yes. And there you go. Now it's installed those guys. I've put them inside of my on one let's category. And right down here, there's the on one cinematic looks. Now all I do is pick one that I like. I'm going to use the quick view browser to make that a little bit easier. I click this button up here and I get a much larger preview of those on my photo. I could even use the slider down here at the bottom to make those even bigger. I'm going to make these four wide so I could really look for what I'm looking for. I kind of like this really warm look right here, this lava lamp preset. There we go. That's added that lookup table right here. I can tweak its appearance by using the opacity slider to control how strong it is applied. I'm gonna go for about 70%. There's also a contrast and a saturation control that I can use as well. I'm gonna bring the saturation up just a little bit. There we go. And to finish this look, let's add a cinematic border to it. So I'm gonna click on the add filter button go down to borders, and from the simple category, I'm just gonna grab the black letterbox border. There we go. Letterbox is gonna change the proportion of my photo to more of that 16 by nine movie look. And I can tune just how much it knocks off by using the scale slider right here. See, I can move that in or out, and I can adjust just how much of the photo gets clipped off. There we go. I'm gonna leave that black border on rather than cropping it because I really want that cinematic look. 
So let's again take a look at our before and our after here. I'm just going to hit the tab key so we have a little bit more space to look at. So there's my original photo before any adjustments, before the lens correction, and before my changes in develop, and without my lookup table in cinematic border. And there it is after that wide, very cinematic look. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have lots of fun with the new lookup table filter.